Банде Гуру Падад Дандам Бхакта Бинда Саманитам Се Чайтанна Пабам Банде Нитананда Саудитам Се Нанда 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 Радика Чаруна Дайам Гопи Жанна Самаюктам Бинда Ванша калпатару ваша кепасин дабабача. Патитанам павани бабашна вибью наму нама. Мукан кароти вача лампангум лангайте гири. Джакки пата махангабанди Снавхакти паде деви саттабхатвей намо нама. Нараяна намаскитта наранча ива нараттама. Девин сарасвати нивязам тату жайо мудире. Санкиртане кисно котопудеш. Гаури апатрасшо пракасанеча. Садану ракта гуру бхакти жукта, бхакти прамодакша жагот барудна. Дейям сада парибхабагнам абишту духам, тетас падам сива вирунчанутам сараньям. Витатихам понатопал бхабаддипутам. Банде Махапуршате Чарана Равиндам, Яд Пада Паллавана Качандамани Чатай, Биспуржи Токиме Пигапаваду Шуадарши, Пурнану Рагара Сусагара Сарамурти, Саради Камай Кадаки Бангарусе, Си Кришна Чайтанна Прабунитананда. Сиаддайта Гада Дхара Сива Садихи Гаура Бхакта Винда Си Кришна Чайтанна Прабхунита Ананда Сиаддайта Гада Дхара Сива Садихи Гаура Бхакта Винда Харе Кришна Харе Кришна 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 Харе 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 Рам, Харе Рам, Рам Рам, Харе Харе. Аяну ламбита бхуджау канака бадато, Шанкиртану и капитару камала ятакша, Вишам бару дижа бару жугодхарм палу, Банде ягат приякару, Каркаруна Батару, Харе Кишна, Харе Кишна, 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 Харе, Харе, Харе Рам, Харе Рам, 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 Харе, Харе. Аджан Ламбита Буджо Канака Бадату. Шанкиртана и капитара у камала я так шо. Вишам бару дижа бару джугадар мапалу. Банде джагат приякару. Каруна батару. Хари Кришна, Хари Кришна. Кришна, Кришна, Хари, Хари. Хари Рам, Хари Рам. Рама Рама Хари Хари Нама Миганге Тава Пад Панкаджам Сура Сура Ирбандито Дипарупам Бхукти Инча Мукти Инча Дада Синитам Бхавану Рупен Садана Рана Ганга 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 
तरंग रमणीय जटा कलापम गौरी निरंतर विभूषित बाम भागम नारायणो प्रिय मनंग मदापहारम बरान से पुरापति भज विश्वनाथम बागी सजुस्व बदने लक्ष्मीजस् च वक्षसी जस्ते हृदय संबी तमहम भज हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे ज्ञानता सुलभा मुक्तिर्भुक्तिर्जादिपुन्नता संयम साधन सहस्र हरिभक्ति सुदुर्लभ ज्ञानता सुलभा मुक्तिर भुक्तिर्जादिपुन्नता संयम साधन सहस्र हरिभक्ति सुदुर्लभ गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रोपात परमंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट भगवान नाम टू जस्ट टेक दैट भगवान नाम एंड टू जस्ट मीट विद भगवान इज ऑल द सेम गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रोपात परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट टू एक्सेप्ट द नेम ऑफ भगवान एंड टू एंड टू मीट विद भगवान इज ऑल द सेम इट्स ऑल द सेम भगवान नेम द नेम ऑफ भगवान हाउ टू डू दैट दैट ऑल दो प्योर डिवोटिस दो आर प्योर डिवोटिस they they just need to serve bhagwan in order to call bhagwan and in order to just uh, do prema onto the lotus feet of bhagwan they are actually doing the name of bhagwan other kind of objective they don't have prabhupad especially speaking on this point that inside their heart with full nishtha all the time they just need to do hari naam slowly steadily all the time they are doing hari naam when our heart that kind of all kind of anartha are just getting destroyed from our heart then automatically that in the way of hari bhajan that hidden uh, hari bhajan the hidden uh, accomplishment for our hari bhajan will get uh, uh, present in front of us manifest in front of us in order to just remove all the sinful activities or in order to get some kind of uh, all good deeds or whether to just get uh, that swarg etc or whether to just get all the kind of name fame position Dual vision that in order to just remove the feminine from your life, that plague has just got, or some corona has just spread it. In order to just remove that, and some kind of uh, unpeacefulness is just there, there, and uh, whole world war actually going on in all the wo- whole material on on this earth. In order to just get name, fame, position, and all material things matters. In order to just use that pure Guru Vishnu, they are not at all using pure Guru Vishnu for this purpose. They are not at all calling them for that. At all, this is not at all good to call them for material purpose. A lot of time before, I am actually talked uh, already discussed this point. Our Parapujya Pad, Abhinu Guru Pad Padma, non different Sri Shila Bhakti Dayit Madhav Goswami Maharaj. He is actually there in Assam, at uh, the border of Assam. There is one place in Assam that the uh, main temple there, Paradhauli. In front of the temple, he has just met there, and there Paradhauli actually speaking in the in the speech. Paradhauli speaking that. we can just uh, we can just sacrifice the ram naam in for the actual sacrifice of 
we can just sacrifice the name of ram for this um, for our uh, country maharaj ji is actually just uh, with this kripa is actually just uh, giving him the understanding that you see that to that bhagwan naam ram that word ram is actually not different from bhagwan ram just to sacrifice country for bhagwan ram it is not at all good that mahadesh that all those country continent subcontinent whatever the thing is there that whole material world actually has all come from bhagwan only everything has just came from bhagwan only and you are actually sacrificing bhagwan for this small country bhagwan naam ke liye that bhagwan naam we can sacrifice uh, that uh, whole country because it is not at all possible that in all infinity brahman what it is there present in this infinity brahmand what is actually it is present whatever is there present it is all temporary all anitya that kind of temporary things in order to just get that we will sacrifice the name of bhagwan this is a totally misconception you are actually gandhi is actually speaking the conception of gandhi ji is totally wrong each and every conception is totally wrong this all cheating propensity so whatever be the case भगवान एक्चुअली द नेम ऑफ भगवान वी आर एक्चुअली जस्ट कॉलिंग भगवान इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट कॉल भगवान इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट डू प्रेम जस्ट एक्सचेंज प्रेम भाव विद भगवान जस्ट इन ऑर्डर टू सेटिस्फाई भगवान वी आर एक्चुअली कॉलिंग द नेम ऑफ भगवान दैट सेट that bhagwan naam in order to accept that that is bhakti that's why we are doing hari naam bhagwan when vallabha chare ji that has just shown so much false ego when vallabha chare showing some false ego in front of bhagwan swayam gorang mahaprabhu that i have written one kind of commentary on shri hari naam i have just written the glorification of hari naam i will just uh, uh, you please hear mahaprabhu actually speaking that he has already have false ego and he is speaking in front of him that i don't have any adhikar in hari naam i don't i only know that uh, yashodanand krishna is everything for me uh, what kind of glorification i can hear about hari naam यशोदा नंदन कृष्ण नंदन नंद कृष्ण इज एन अफ फॉर मी एंड महाप्रभु एक्चुअली जस्ट लेटिंग हिम डाउन जस्ट बाय स्पीकिंग दैट इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट लेट हिम डाउन फॉर अर मोमेंट एंड आफ्टर दैट वन टाइम दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार एक्चुअली वॉज एक्चुअली पुट इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस दैट यू आर एक्चुअली वाई यू आर ऑल स्पीकिंग द नेम ऑफ स्वामी इन ऑर्डर टू स्पीक द नेम ऑफ स्वामी इट इज द नॉट एट ऑल गुड फॉर अ वाइफ टू स्पीक द नेम ऑफ इज हजबेंड सो वाई यू आर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग द जीवाज आर ऑल 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 एक्चुअली शक्ति ऑफ भगवान इट इज तटस्थ शक्ति ऑफ भगवान दैट इट इज द एक्चुअल अंश ऑफ तटस्थ शक्ति एंड बाय दिस विचार that kind of feminine gender we can use that the jeevatma there is no problem in that jeevatma that jeevatma about jeevatma i have already seen that in some books that male that masculine gender they are using that but it is totally wrong that is not at all good that is actually fem feminine gender female gender it is not masculine gender we cannot use for jeevatma why because this is actually shakti of bhagwan this is actually shakti tatva so whatever be the case they are bataya gaya they are actually actually spoke speaking arthat balwa chare that balwa chare actually speaking to mahaprabhu that why you are actually speaking the name of bhagwan bhagwan is actually swami you are just to speak in the name of swami it is very much it's not good for the wife to to speak the name of husband mahaprabhu with a very angry mood speaking to balwa chare if the actual uh, if it is the if the swami has given us the permission that all the time you just need to speak hari naam my name if it is the actual permission of Bhav, swami that to just speak my name all the time that in that actual uh, uh, actual acceptance you will get but from where this kind of uh, consideration you have got very much uh, mahaprabhu become angry with vallabha chare so all the people are having this kind of misconception that how to do hari naam what is the procedure and uh, all those pure devotees of bhagwan that they don't have 
in order to just get the top most good deeds or in order to just remove all the kind of bad sinful activities we are not taking the hari naam of prabhu or in order to get swarg or heaven or maybe in order to just remove all the kind of feminine activities from our life or maybe some kind of top most uh, disease has just spread it or some uh, kind of political war world war has just came and in order to guess just uh, that king kingship or kingdom that for all these material material things we don't need to speak the name of hari naam for all this purpose what is the case that uh, bhagwan naam we just need to do with full of uh, prema that is actually bhakti and if that uh, different ki- other kind of sadhan ang we have to perform that also we have have to take the uh, acceptance of name we have to take the shelter of hari naam whether you have to do the other kind of work other kind of other kind of sadhan ang maybe you have to do the other kind of sadhan ang it is very much important to do but still that naam sankirtan you just need to take the shelter of naam sankirtan all the time it is very much important to take the shelter of naam sankirtan just by taking the shelter of hari naam just to take the shelter of naam sankirtan you have to do each and everything otherwise you don't need to do bhakti is not all possible like that so bhagwan naam bhagwan naam is uh, swayam parmeshwar and uh, i have uh, just told it a bit uh, short time before that uh, just to speak the name of bhagwan and to just meet with bhagwan is all the same what papa told that bhagwan naam is sakshat parmeshwar himself this parmeshwar by the parmesh this parmeshwar only just uh, bhagwan naam bhagwan naam means that bhagwan shuddh naam the actual shuddh naam of bhagwan what do you mean that is he swam bhagwan parmeshwar is present there so by parmeshwar that by Parme, parmeshwar that kind of in order to just uh, fulfill our material desires by the name of bhagwan it is not at all good it is not at all good at all just to just get successful in our material matters that i am the actual servant of bhagwan but this is the opposite that bhagwan is my servant bhagwan have to we have just uh, given a job to bhagwan this is not at all good this is totally wrong that we have to that we have just uh, put bhagwan as our own servant we have just given job to bhagwan prabhupada actually speaking that this kind of feeling is not at all good this is actually this is actually this is one kind of aparad this is not at all good to Uh, give job to bhagwan so that he can serve you in order so that in order to serve bhagwan all the time we just need to uh, do hari naam of bhagwan all the time you can't understand what i'm speaking like the case param puja param puja sidhar ko swami maharaj param puja sidhar ko swami maharaj param puja sidhar ko swami maharaj one person actually came to him some devotees actually just came to shridhar go swami pad and on to his lotus feet is speaking that i we have one question what is your actual question tell me that we just want to take one kind of rectification in front of you. what is that maharaj speaking that maharaj that guru vaishnava are speaking all the time to do one lakh hari naam we have to do that that definitely you have to do one lakh hari naam and we don't have any this kind of time to just to speak hari naam have one lakh hari naam where to do that all the time we are actually uh, busy in seva so what to do you just give us the uh, way param puja sirdar ko swami bara speaking that you see the thing is actually that that we are we are actually doing the hari naam of bhagwan we are actually calling bhagwan for what purpose that we are actually calling bhagwan in order to do more and more seva so that bhagwan can do kripa on us so that we can get some seva and why we are actually doing seva so that we can get get the vishuddha naam of bhagwan all the time it should dance on our tongue it means that all the time bhagwan naam and bhagwan seva it is actually this is all compensative factor to each other why we are actually doing hari naam so that bhagwan will give us seva more and why we will be doing seva so that we can do more and more hari naam so that's why 
this kind of vichar you should not make at all that so all the time you should do harinam you have to do one lakh harinam it is very much essential because mahaprabhu himself has told this point that at the, at some time you just need to take out so that you can do your harinam and all other are actually all rubbish talkings that that lot of things we are actually just wasting our time in that we just need to save our time that all those pure devotees pure guru vaishnav they are not at all actually they are all the time saving their time and they are doing harinam so that's why inside their heart they don't have any kind of uh, uh, they don't have any kind of shri uh, lakshmidas kaviraj ko swami pad some devotee actually asking them that how we can do harinam we don't have any time all the time we are actually busy in seva how to do harinam maharaj you just tell us that what is the reason how we can do that maharaj actually with a very nice uh, manner with nice behavior speaking that you see your child that you all you are you are doing seva by your hands externally with your sense organs you are by your feet you are doing seva no okay but uh, what you are doing on your tongue what you are doing on your tongue you just need to uh, make sure that your tongue should also get uh, in krishna seva this actually all lagao you just need to you just need to you are actually doing seva in your hands no you are doing your physically or by your sense organs you are doing on your feet by using your feet you are going somewhere why you are actually uh, not speaking the name of uh, krishna mahaprabhu actually you haven't uh, you have already forgot this point what mahaprabhu told Why you are actually this kind of bhavna is actually coming inside you. Okay, that one lakh hari nam by just counting it is not at all possible for you. Okay, you can do fifty thousand on your nam mala hari jap mala and after that you just go on speaking hari nam by doing seva. It will go more than one lakh hari nam if this is so much. Like one lakh hari nam, if you are doing, so you do can do one thing, just by counting. Ma Prabhu actually spoken that there is no compromise in that. Prabhupada also hasn't compromise on that. That you just need to count and have to do one lakh hari nam. And if it is not possible for you like that, still I can't change that conception as well. So you do can do one thing. You can do fifty thousand nam up till this point, and after that you can do on your tongue all the time. You just need to do hari nam. just by sitting walking eating sleeping whatever you just need to do harinam you one lakh harinam will definitely will be done prabhupada actually just giving one answer to one person that you see that in order to just call bhagwan just by calling bhagwan and just to give job to bhagwan as your servant it is not at all good just in order to you are become sir you are not serving bhagwan you are making him servant it is not at all good but the actual seva for for actual seva of bhagwan if you are actually calling him for that for bhagwan you just give me seva of yours just to satisfy bhagwan you are asking seva from bhagwan then that kind of harinam will not get uh, wasted just for getting bhagwat seva you are not calling bhagwan for your, for his seva then all kind of uh, naam aparad and naam abhas will just get uh, manifested inside your heart that will just get manifested in front of you that for bhagwan you just need to call bhagwan for satisfaction of bhagwan this is actual actually the thing you just need to do prabhupada actually speaking like jesus christ has also told whether whether jesus christ also told that no one actually speaking it doesn't mean that jesus christ actually speaking this kind of point in front of us it doesn't mean that uh, that you just don't need to take just for Bhag- bhagwat seva you just need to don't need to take the name of bhagwan whether definitely jesus christ must have told definitely jesus christ must have told in this way that for your own material uh, greediness for in order to uh, accomplish that material greediness or material motives you don't uh, need to call bhagwan for that 
whether all the devotees also not speaking that oh please save me lord not like that all the devotees are not at all speaking like that also vishuna chakravarty actually speaking that immediately there is some slip of tongue that in a very uh, hard times uh, some devotee actually speaking but the, actually they are not at all habituated to speak like that if from our tongues that sometimes there is slip of tongue that some devotee actually asking some help from bhagwan but still they don't have this kind of practice to just uh, call bhagwan and speaking that you just need to save us in the gaudiya samaj that kind of vichar is there bhagwan we can ju- bhagwan can just uh, uh, just uh, kill us whatever he can do there is actually no question regarding that there is no kind of uh, hardships for us that's why jesus christ must have told this point that uh, for to don't need give, don't need any kind of job to bhagwan don't make bhagwan as your servant just for your own material motives to accomplish you don't need to take the hari naam of bhagwan and in our gaudi siddhant the chaitanya mahaprabhu siddhant vichar is that that all the time you just need to do hari naam all the time 24 hours this is our actual vichar gaudiya vichar Prabhupada actually speaking that all the time with full nishta and with full prem bhav inside your heart that with full nishta and prem bhav you just need to do harinam all the time in that definitely today or tomorrow all kind of anarth will just get destroyed and that actual vastavik bhajan will get started because at the time when anarth is there inside our heart at that time bhagavat naam is not at all possible to do actual naam and in when anarth is there inside our heart then actual bhajan actual hari bhajan will not be possible to do in these days prabhupad ji or maybe bhakti no thakur or param pujya keshav go swami maharaj or madhav go swami maharaj they they according to their anushasan i am actually making this kind of vichar in front of you i am actually just speaking that kind of vichar in front of you by their anugatya that rag rag batam chandrika that in rag mark in order to just get established in rag mark that what is the actual pathway to just get established in rag mark that is why it is called rag batam chandrika that is the actual name of this book we can we should remember this all the time that bhakti no thakur ji bhakti no thakur ji actually speaking that i have already told you previously as well that vidhi mark it doesn't mean that if someone actually thinking like this that in chaitanya jitamrit actually it is written there that maharaj bhakti no thakur actually why speaking like this that uh, bhakti no thakur ji actually speaking whereas in chaitanya jitamrit it is written there that krishna's kaviraj go swami writing vidhi bhakti krishna ko in order to get the krishna vidhi bhakti is not the procedure to get krishna in the vidhi mark for krishna prapti in order to get nand nandan krishna in your life in the vidhi mark or in the pathway of, at the at the pathway of vidhi mark it is not at all possible to get nand nandan krishna in that it doesn't mean that you the you just need to throw the vidhi mark away you just need to cut and throw vidhi mark away and uh, you will follow the rag mark directly bhakti no thakur actually speaking here that vidhi mark means that kind of ashwarya bhavana that opulent pathway that is not uh, there you just don't need to follow that that our vidhi mark that according to our gaudiya samaj that kind of vidhi mark that rag mark in that pathway of rag mark or vidhi mark in the pathway in order to just get established in rag mark we are doing that vidhi mark our vidhi mark what is there you know we definitely have to stay in that vidhi mark in we will be staying in vidhi mark for infinity period it's not like that prabhupada actually speaking that you see 
maybe today you are actually in a very diseased state in a diseased condition you are there and you in a diseased condition you will be taking very rich rich food it is not at all good for us because it will definitely destroy us it will be very dangerous for us because we cannot digest because we are actually in a diseased condition so we can't digest so much rich food and our blood pressure is very much bad and uh, and uh, forceful forcefully if we will be taking very nice food then definitely we will go on to the pathway of death what is the actual use by taking that so that's why propa that you're speaking that you are actually in a diseased condition you are already ill and in this condition ill condition if that topmost uh, rich food you will be taking of a bodybuilder then definitely you will also get destroyed you can't even digest that food and now we are in a very diseased condition we are ill ill condition in this diseased uh, in this diseased condition and maya devi has just uh, covered us in that and in this condition that rag mark rag patam chandrika in order to in to get a, a, a establish in that is not at all possible but in order to get that actual mark darshan but propa that is speaking that it doesn't mean that i haven't told you this thing propa that is speaking that i haven't told you that thing that that for infinity period you will be just like a sago like a barley you just need to take barley all the time all whole whole life this is not our actual accomplishment that in a very diseased condition if you will be taking rich food it is not at all good but it doesn't mean that for our whole life we will be just taking sago we will be taking barley or sago we will be the, we have just taken this kind of accomplishment to take for our whole life after we are getting uh, after we have got recovered from our ill condition if we will be taking that uh, sago then there is no problem in that so what kind of vidhi mark we have this is actually in rag mark that kind of uh, what is actually there in the rag mark that uh, our vidhi mark it is actually the actual process to just move into that rag mark that is actually there for us so that we can get established in rag mark that's why vidhi mark is our vidhi mark is like that this is just a kind of a, a slow steady step by step gradual promotional procedure of bhajan we just need to follow that our vidhi mark means that kram mark that gradual promotional procedure we just need to follow in order to get that rag mark ma pa prabhu also told this thing in front of us i am not at all speaking on my own this point shila rogo swami but also speaking this point this is actually there at this point and after that lot of uh, things ma prabhu has told hado shadhya tato sadhu sangho atho anatta nipriti sat There is actually this kind of one crumb is there. Jeev Goswami Pad also speaking the same thing. That crumb you just need to follow the gradual promotional procedure. That what kind of individual gradual promotional procedure according to your own adhikar in order to do that particular work. It's already written in the shastras. Prabhupad always used to speak. Prabhupad always used to speak before. Prabhupad always used to speak. Prabhupad always used to speak this point before that uh, if you are actually just getting out of the limit of your adhikar, it is the topmost fault. That what kind of limit or borders you have for your adhikar? It's already written in the Gita also regarding this. Bhagwan speaking. Bhagwan or uh, Prabhupad always used to speak this kind of sloka. अकॉर्डिंग टू योर इंडिविजुअल अधिकार यू जस्ट नीड टू रन योर लाइफ एंड इफ यूल बी जस्ट क्रॉसिंग योर लिमिट्स दैट यू आर अ क्षत्रिय दैट वॉट कैंड ऑफ स्वभाव विद कर्म according to your sanskar what kind of you got the janeu and you are a kshatriya and to fight in the battlefield this is your natural uh, natural uh, role so if you will not be doing that then you are actually uh, th- this is not at all good that according to your own adhikar if you are not at all following your own adhikar and other kind of adhikar you are taking that up in your life just to welcome that kind of adhikar 
अपार्ट फ्रॉम योर नेचुरल अधिकार इट इज नॉट एट ऑल गुड इट इज नॉट एट ऑल गुड टू फॉलो लाइक दैट सो दैट्स वाई प्रोपाद ऑलवेज यूज टू स्पीक That according to your own adhikar, you just need to establish yourself. In your in that adhikar particular adhikar, you just need to establish yourself. That you just need to follow vidhi mark. It is very much important to follow vidhi mark. With full concentration, you just need to go ahead in your bhajan life. Maybe today or tomorrow, definitely we will get that actual benefit in our life. Maybe today or tomorrow, definitely we will get the benefit. Of this, there is no doubt. Definitely, it will be done. There is actually no other way. It will definitely be done. That's why Prabhupad always used to speak. That if you are actually crossing the limit of your adhikar, that is the actual aparad. So, whatever the case, we can't do anything in our life. That we have not got attraction towards the lotus feet of pure Guru Vishnu. We don't know what is actually bhajan, and in this situation, we will be doing Raganuga bhakti. That is not at all good to follow. That it is not at all good to start Raganuga bhakti in this situation. So that's why Keshav Goswami Maharaj actually speaking. Param Puja Bhat Keshav Goswami Maharaj speaking. Param Puja Bhat Keshav Goswami Maharaj speaking. That. आवर गुरु पाद पद्म परम आराध्य परमहंस जगत गुरु श्री शील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद अंडर हिज अनुगत्य एंड द एक्चुअल धारा ऑफ विचार व्हाट ही हैज प्रेजेंटेड इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस वी जस्ट नीड टू हैव टू टेक अचीव दैट काइंड ऑफ अधिकार वी जस्ट नीड टू फॉलो दैट काइंड ऑफ अधिकार व्हाट एवर प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली टोल्ड दैट व्हाट काइंड ऑफ पर्टिकुलर अधिकार व्हाट प्रभुपाद हैज टोल्ड वी जस्ट नीड टू जस्ट थिंक और सी दैट ऑल द टाइम प्रभुपाद ऑलवेज यूज टू स्पीक दैट इन भजन दैट उन्नत अधिकार वैन यू आर नॉट गेटिंग एट ऑल गेटिंग इन योर लाइफ अप टिल दैट पॉइंट दैट काइंड ऑफ रस विचार इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट गेट एस्टेब्लिश इन रस विचार इट इज नॉट एट ऑल गुड एंड दिस इज नॉट एट ऑल यू आर नॉट एट ऑल एलिजिबल टू जस्ट गेट एस्टेब्लिश इन रस विचार वैन दैट काइंड ऑफ उन्नत अधिकार यू आर नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग इन हरी भजन इन when you are not at all getting in your life up till that point that in order to get established in ras vichar it is all useless it is not at all good that's why param pooja pad keshav ko swami maharaj in jav dharma that our granth that from there their ras tatva is just completely remove that so that uh, all those people can just uh, get established in that and they can just uh, uh, save themselves from the destruction so our vidhi mark doesn't mean that we just need i have just a thrown a rag mark and we will be just taking up vidhi mark only it's not like that mean vidhi mark that in order to stay in vidhi mark it means that in order to just get provisioned in rag mark maybe today or tomorrow we will be getting that it means that our vidhi mark and in order to establish in rag mark that kind of gradual promotional procedure we need to follow that under the guidance of pure guru vishnuv it is actually showing to us that in rag mark in order to just get establishment more uh, incremental that's why kram mark gradual promotional procedure is shown to us up till that point the actual life of the jeevas that in our own life that kind of dvitya avinivesh it means that other kind of thinking is not at all there in our mind all the time that the pure guru vaishnav thinking it's all the time going inside our mind that no in other kind of wishes that we don't have any kind of attraction and repulsion for that when it, when it is not at all going away that dvitya vishaya means that apart from bhagwan the other kind of material matter bhagwan bhakt dham naam devotees parikar all actually is one tattva that is adya gyan tattva that in aditya vishaya when we are having that rag and avinivesh when it we are not at all getting in that 
इट मीन्स दैट वैन वील बी फॉर भगवान नाम धाम परिकर वैन वी आर नॉट एट ऑल फीलिंग अट्रैक्शन टू वर्ड्स दैट एंड वी आर नॉट एट ऑल फीलिंग अट्रैक्शन फॉर दैट अप टिल दैट पॉइंट दैट इन ऑर्डर टू गेट आउट ऑफ द द्वितीय अभिनिवेश द टू फोल्ड कॉन्सेप्ट इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल टू गेट आउट ऑफ दैट Inside our heart, that what is there inside our heart, that itar rag, itir itar rag, that kind of ruchi is there inside. Then how it is possible that kind of transcendental greediness we can get inside our heart? It is not at all possible. Not at all possible to get that. Just by artificially making like this, all people can just artificially put up their own siddhant, false siddhant. But in this actual bhajan, it's not at all possible. Bhajan we can be done according to the shrot pantha. That our own mar we just need to do bhajan according to that. By our own will we can't do bhajan at all. Shuti, siti, puran, adi, panchuratti, feeling bina, hoy kant ke harel ho, hoti utpato hi bhagal. This I have already told that according to Shuti Shuti Puran, whatever the actual, in order to just uh, we will be doing bhajan according to our own and not following the shastra. So what we can get the actual result in that? What we can get the actual thing in that? Just by not following the Shuti Shuti Puran etc. Whatever the it is written the shastras, that is actually the topmost utpat. This is not at all bhajan. This is just the topmost destruction in our life. Our guru work also has just our up till Jeev Goswami path. Jeev Goswami path also have just told this point up till this point. Jeev Goswami path also telling this point in front of us. Bhakti Vinod Thakur also actually speaking the same point in front of us, and he's just speaking in front of us regarding this. They have already told you regarding this point in Upadesh Amrit. That in Upadesh Amrit commentary, I have told you. Bhagwan in the other uh, other other place. Bhagwan speaking this point. So whatever be the case. So we can see from here that that according to the Mahajans. We just need to, according to the Mahajans, we just need to get the actual rules and regulations. We just need to follow that actual path where what Mahajans has taught us. That whatever they have taught us, we just need to follow that particular path where because in this, there is actually no kind of extra efforts. We just need to put this already have been shown by Mahajans to us. We just need to follow that. That's it. On that pathway only, we just need to go, and that's why. and we can get the actual benefit in that only we can get the actual benefit in that only that's it and the other pathway will be going in that whatever other pathway will be following apart from our mahajan then there is actually so much danger in that it is not at all good to follow that individual pathway apart from our mahajans what they have given us it is not at all good we just need to go in that pathway only That actually there is no vishay or paritap there. That without any, without any doubts and without any uh, problems, we'll be following that. Like from our previous uh, guru, pure guru Vaishnav, they have just followed that same pathway. Same pathway we have to follow. Bhakti Mohan Thakur actually speaking that your pathway is not at all new. New pathway is not at all possible. Bhakti Mohan Thakur actually speaking in Upadesha Amrit commentary. Shila Bhakti Mohan Thakur ji in Upadesha Amrit commentary. In that he is speaking that the pathway is not at all new. That bhakti path pathway is not at all new at all. But pathway is only one and the same. Bhakti Mohan Thakur speaking in Upadesha Amrit commentary he has written that the pathway is not at all new. 
that those persons who are actually following the new pathway they are actually discovering a new pathway definitely inside their heart that in that kind of karma for pratishth or position they have and just you open your ears that what kind of new pantha you want that new pathway you are opening for uh, uh, pathway you are opening for those uh, person particular person and all those followers will or uh, definitely go to hell that pathway will be just uh, going for 2 to 10 years 20 years it will be staying that new pathway and this new pathway will totally will just get destroyed completely it will not at all stay at all in this kind of pathway will not at all stay this is the actual rule so whatever be the case uh, we have already seen that our kind of godiamat vichar that in uh, in the vishay of godiamat that kind of krama pantha what we are following that krama pantha that is actually good that gradual promotional series procedure is good vidhi bhakti is good by that gradual promotional procedure under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav you will get that and uh, slowly steadily we will be discussing about ragvatan chandrika slowly steadily we will be discussing that and we can understand the actual meaning of ragvatan chandrika before that it is not at all possible yesterday i have actually just put on this uh, thing in front of you that shila vishwana chakravarti pad in his commentary in the samrit sindhu he has just taken three shlokas out of that you can understand you can uh, think that three shlokas jananch suprashtam nij samitam tat tat katha ratus cha so kuriya basam brijesa ye vyakha ho gaya this kind of ar seva vyakha already done it's not possible to do it again 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 tad bhav lipshuna karja brijo loka anusar this is the actual second shlok and the third shlok is sarvanat kirtana dini sarvanat kirtana dini vaidi bhakti uditani tu jani angani cha tani atro vigyani manishi dino this is these are the three shlokas is a this all in this vishnu chakravarti pad speaking that uh, that in bhakti ras amrit sindhu from bhakti ras amrit sindhu the three shlokas what i have just uh, taken from bhakti ras amrit sindhu this uh, according to that uh, raganuga prasang adhikar what you can get in that prasang it is actually the actual major three roles plays a very major vital role in that that what shila rupa swami pad actually has written in bhakti ras amrit sindhu i have i have already taken that vishma chakra was speaking and these three shlokas in bhakti ras amrit sindhu from this three shlokas i have taken that kind of raganuga adhikari in order uh, in that uh, nirne prasang of radha raganuga adhikari that you, whether you are eligible to take raganuga bhajan or not that these three shlokas that kamanuga we are actually uh, discussing that you don't understand what i'm speaking here that three shlokas actually are kamanuga for those kamanuga persons this kind of detailed explanation is given here for these three shlok and the actual question is coming that raganuga kamanuga we haven't understand this point what is this that raganuga kamanuga what is this actually yes in this this some kind of discussion should be there so that we can understand what is raganuga and one what is kamanuga on this topic that what is raganuga and what is kamanuga what is that both the words what is the actual difference between them we just need to understand that for that it is actually a detailed description is given that brajvasis that kind of actual natural inclination of brajvasis and in brajvasis in those brajvasis that kind of natural behavior what it is there that all the time it is there that bhakti is there inside their heart that is called ragatmika bhakti that brajvasis that in those brajvasis that actual kind of uh, natural inclination we can see that kind of bhav inside them natural inclination natural behavior that is called ragatmika bhakti that is called raganuga or ragatmika bhakti and that bhakti which is uh, that is under the anugatya of ragatmika bhakti brajvasi 
that uh, bol, those brajwas is on those brajwas is gun that all those bhakt what is what kind of bhakti they have that they uh, do they exchange prem bhav with bhagwan all the time that is called ragatmika bhakti and those the that bhakti which is under the guidance of ragatmik uh, bhakti that is called raga raganuga bhakti we can do raganuga bhakti that inside our heart that raga raganuga bhakti is possible for us ragatmik bhakti is not really possible for us ragatmika bhakti is can be there in prabhupad ragatmika bhakti can be there in bhakti vinod thakur can be there by because they are actually eternal parshat that by their own will they have just uh, they have just hidden their actual swarup in front of us it means that prabhupad actually is brajwasi bhakti vinod thakur ji is brajwasi they are actually all brajwasi but uh, they have adhikar in ragatmika bhakti but still they by their own will in order to just teach us how to do raganuga bhakti they have just uh, told us that you see beta that what kind of bhav brajwasis are having the for krishna they whatever uh, bhakti or exchange of bhav is there prema is there that is called uh, ragatmika bhakti and under the guidance of those all the ragatmik devotees will be performing that bhakti that is called raganuga bhakti so ragatmika bhakti under the guidance of ragatmika devotees it is called raganuga we can speak on this point we just need to focus more and now the actual question is coming here that ragatmika bhakti it is of two types ragatmika bhakti that which is there in the brajvasis that is also it is of two types also you can understand what i am speaking that under the kind in the uh, that kind of bhakti is there in brajvasis that is ragatmika bhakti and that ragatmika bhakti what is there under the anugatya of those uh, uh, ragatmik devotees that will become a raganuga bhakti for us but ragatmika bhakti also is of two types that ragatmika bhakti is of two types it is categorized into and one is kam rupa and is sambandh rupa these are the two types kam rupa that kam just by speaking you don't understand wrongly bhakti mr thakur actually speaking just by folding his hand he is speaking in front of us don't understand it in a wrong way opposite way kam just by speaking kam we are actually thinking that material all rubbish stool and urine like uh, uh, kama lust we are feeling that is uh, actually totally wrong conception bhakti mr thakur is speaking that this kam actually is from the transcendental world this is actually transcendental uh, kam this is not at all uh, tra- uh, material kam when transcendental kam will be there inside our heart when it is not at all getting established in that up till that point my whole life is uh, totally devastated all destroyed in from my life that inside our heart that kind of kam we should feel all the time for bhagwan that is the topmost point and that is a topmost uh, point here so that bhakti mr thakur actually speaking in front of us all this and this ragatmika bhakti that under the, this which is there inside uh, brajvasis all the time which is there all the time in brajvasis that ragatmika bhakti it is of two types one is kam kam rupa and the second one is sambandh rupa kam rupa means that what what do you mean by kam rupa yes kam rupa that in all the braj devi guns all the gopikas it is there that the what kind of relationship they have for krishna this i have already told in this shloka bhakti mr thakur actually speaking that you see that that all the time they have natural inclination attraction towards krishna that kind of kama what they have this is not at all compared with that material stool and urine kama that what kind of idea we are having that experience material experience bank this is actually all material experience bank because from our birth till our death what kind of experience bank is there mentally we have just done that is definitely in the form of knowledge we and experience it will come in my heart that 
that from what we have taken it from this material world but the transcendental experience transcendental experience of that world that practically in order to just get pervished in this that transcendental world we can understand that before without that is not at all possible because when you will be staying in material world you don't have any news of the transcendental world they all information is actually all near approximation of the transcendental world in this material world whatever news we are getting it is all near approximation why because it is not possible to get the just uh, getting into the platform of uh, material platform we are actually in order to get the news of the transcendental platform it is not at all possible to get that so whatever be the case whatever be the case the braj devikas what they are having attraction for uh, krishna in order to just exchange that prem bhav that parikya bhav what we can feel this is actually that is calm that aprakrit calm transcendental calm transcendental lust we are actually getting one uh, mantra from aprakrit kaam dev we have got it no yes we have got it of for aprakrit kaam dev that the mantra of aprakrit kaam dev by that support of that mantra bhagwan actually is nandanandan krishna we can just uh, remember that krishna das kaviraj go swami also speaking the same thing kaam mantra jar arghon vidhi marge krishna prem paite nahi shokti just be careful on this point when i'm speaking krishna das kaviraj go swami speaking in vidhi mark that you don't have any power to get krishna prem at all in vidhi mark nandanandan krishna you cannot get this already have been told here and after that it is actually written that kaam gayatri that kaam gayatri kaam beej kaam that kaam beej that seed of kaam or the kaam gayatri kaam gayatri kaam beej ke dwara jiska by that kaam seed or kaam beej in that vidhi marg we can just uh, accomplish that by serving that particular object but it doesn't mean that we just need to cut and throw all that vidhi marg and we will become sahajya that's why we are discussing this point in front of you so this ragatmika bhakti that is actually called kaam roopa and sambandh roopa it is actually categorized in that vishwana chakravarti was speaking and kaam roopa this kind of bhakti is there that in all those braj devi guns all we can see that in all the braj devi guns and sambandh roopa nand baba yashoda maya yashoda maya nand baba all actually are there this kind of sambandh that he is my child he is my own son this kind of bhav when will be just expressed manifest in front uh, of us that is called actually sambandh rupa bhakti that is actual example of sambandh rupa bhakti that nand yashoda baba both of them that kind of kaam rupa that kind of kaam rupa aur jo sambandh and sambandh rupa this ragatmika bhakti what we have categorized that they are actually pleasing all the brajvasi guns and it is all the time there inside the heart of brajvas brajvasi gun from the nitya permanently it is there it's not like that uh, in, in the heart of brajvasi he has seen krishna and they are actually feeling that it's not like that that's why it's already written in chaitanya charitamrit that gurudev always used to speak this point in front of us that beta that boy that brajwasi pati ye guru ji kehte that guru dev always used to speak this before that he used to speak all this point in front of us brajwasi pati kishner swabhavik ki pati brajwasi pati aa brajwasi ro swabhavik ki pati kishavat e je so this is a natural and spontaneous non stop and unawaited it will go on automatically like that and it is eternally present otherwise it is not some girl or you you will be seeing and you will be just attracted towards that particular girl then my whole life will get just get destroyed this is not like that it is automatically there before only all the time natural for the infinity time it is like this there no kind of misconception can come at all it is very much difficult to get some kind of misconception in that that kaam roopa and sambandh roopa in kaam roopa and sambandh roopa bhakti under the guidance of that those who are doing bhakti that kaam roopa and sambandh roopa those that that is the overall name of that both is raganuga bhajan that is only possible in brajvasi only 
that is only possible in Brajvasis and in other places, the whole infinity world, it is not at all possible. This Ragatmika Bhakti and Raganuga and Samandra, Kamanuga and Samandranuga we are speaking. I have already given you example regarding this that that Nandi Yashoda Upananda Adinanda, all those Brajavasis under their guidance, if you are feeling some kind of attraction, you can follow them according to their own bhav. So, Kamanuga and Sambandhanuga Bhakti, those who are following that Ragatmik Bhakti, that is called Kamrupa Bhakti, Kamanuga Bhakti, and Sambandhanuga Bhakti means it's Sambandhanuga. Their name was actually just like that. Two names are there. One is Kamrupa, that Bhakti is there, that is called Kamanuga Bhakti. And Sambandarupa Bhakti is called Sambandanuka Bhakti. And in Ragvatam Chandrika, this book is there. This Ragvatam Chandrika inside this, you just un- please understand this point that inside this book, Ragvatam Chandrika, only Kamanuka Bhakti, it is uh, only a detailed description is given about Kamanuka Bhakti only. That what is the actual frame of Gopikas? It is only by that the glance is there on the light is given on that topics only. Vishwana Chakravati Pad actually speaking that this Ragatmik Bhakti, this Ragvatam Chandrika, this book is there. This book which I have written, I am writing. This book, Ragvatam Chandrika, in this only Kamanuga Bhakti, about that only it is, uh, I am actually just uh, making the efforts to just describing the Kamanuga Bhakti here only. That is what is actually Anukulya for uh, Kamanuga Bhakti. Whatever shlokas are there, it is all related to Kamanuga Bhakti. And whatever I have told you here, that Vishnu Chakrati was speaking, that uh, I am, what, whatever kind of dis- description, I have just want to share it to you in front of, in front of you. That what is there in Ragvatam Chandrika, what I want to share, what kind of efforts I have just uh, made in order to do the actual discussion of Ragvatam Chandrika. This I have already made to just uh, do the what the Braj Gopikas have Kamanuga Bhakti inside them. I just want to discuss that and other things I am not at all uh, discussing in front of you. That is the overall uh, uh, Raganuga Bhakti, that kind of actual Vishay is there in total. I haven't described that here. That what is there in Raganuga Bhakti, that Kamanuga, that special feature is there. I am describing in front of you. Especially this feature of Kamanuga Bhakti, I am describing in front of you. So that this kind of remembrance towards Krishna and this etc. All these shlokas are there. It is uh, in these shlokas that oh, in, from the overall uh, description, overall uh, conclusive points, you can just see see that uh, there is only a detailed discussion of the Kamanu, that Raganuga Bhakti, only Ragatmik Bhakti he is discussing Vishnu Chakravati Bhakti. In this, it, it can be like that, Sridham, Sudham, Vasudham, and we are actually accepting their Bhakti. Uh, only out of that one kind of bhav we are taking out of all those rajivasis and according to that we are accepting them as guru and we are serving krishna under their guidance and uh, we are discussing and remembering krishna according to them but shila vishwana chakravati pad actually actually speaking here shila vishwana chakravati was speaking on his own that that it is also applicable for kamanuga because it is actually overall a ragatmic bhakti only this actually on his own Vishnu Chakravad has accepted this point that we will be discussing about the overall raganuga bhakti I want to discuss it here my target is is just to discuss Kamanuga that what is the actual bhava of Braj Gopikas what is there inside their heart that what is their actual seva mood how they are serving Krishna that on that pathway how to just follow that pathway how we can go on to that pathway i'll be discussing that in front of you that ex- a special path of gopikas kamanuga kamanuga pathway the first thing is that that just by remembering vishnu that the actual vishay of remembering vishnu that is the raganuga mark in that that is the topmost uh, uh, smaranang the limb of smaranang the remembrance towards krishna rag means that uh, a mental rag whenever the, the, uh, in our material mind that is kind of material rag is there and in our prakrit mind this is a prakrit rag this uh, actually 
एट द टाइम ऑफ होली प्लेइंग होली फेस्टिवल ऑल दो गुलाल एंड कलर्स वी आर एक्चुअली थ्रोइंग ऑन अदर्स दिस इज एक्सटर्नली यू कैन सी दैट दिस इज वन काइंड ऑफ कलर फेस्टिवल ऑल फॉरनर फेस्टिवल फॉरनर स्पीकिंग दिस इज कलर फेस्टिवल आई एम एक्चुअली लाफिंग एट दैन दिस इज नॉट कलर फेस्टिवल ओके इट्स अ कलर फेस्टिवल वॉट टू डू बट वॉट आई कैन स्पीक इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैन दिस इज कलर फेस्टिवल गुलाल एंड ऑल डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कलर्स ड्राई कलर्स दे आर जस्ट पुटिंग ऑन अदर्स दिस एक्चुअली कलर्स वी आर सींग दैट एक्सटर्नल कलर्स आर देयर बट दिस एक्चुअली कलर इज दिस इज राग सो यू जस्ट नीड टू कलर हिम विन ऑल दोज कलर्स दैट दैट एक्चुअल कलर दैट शाम कलर दैट नो अदर कलर इज लाइक एज गुड एज शाम शाम सुंदर that the color of the sham sundar he should just throw so so much color on us so that other color we cannot remember apart from sham sundar that is the actual meaning it means that that we have to take the lotus feet of sham sundar if i just want to love sham sundar then i just need to stay or i need to die just for sham sundar only that is rag this is called actual rag that's to remember krishna in this uh, vishay it is written this is not an ordinary remembrance of krishna because in rasamrit sindhu also that kind of clear conception is given so in this shila rup goswami path uh, under the guidance of rajavasis any kind of rajavasi what you are liking shila rup goswami path actually speaking here but smaran in general that remembrance that uh, what is there in vidhi marg also you can just do that it can also be possible that in vidhi marg also you are doing smaran smaran is there in vidhi marg also it's not there yes it is there definitely it is there and in in gyan mishra bhakti also that smaran is there in karm mishra bhakti also uh, smaran is there remembrance is there gyan mishra bhakti is also there smaran is definitely there in there in gyan gyan shunya bhakti also smaran is there smaran in general can be there but here what kind of remembrance or smaran we are actually talking that that is the anu vid anurag you are actually doing remembrance of krishna there is no kind of coloring that what the foreigners actually speak in this a color festival we are actually just making in colors we are just coloring our whole self in the colors of sham sundar that is the actual remembrance with anurag just by what we are actually remembering our, uh, in the raganuga mark that kind of smaran ang is the top most with anurag who have already just came in raganuga mark is that the top most bhajan the top most vishay of him is that uh, is that smaran with anurag but the smaran of prahlad maharaj is different from the gopikas it's already there prahlad maharaj also have smaran you can understand uh, remember that shloka what i'm speaking parikshit abhavat bhayas ki kirti prahlad smaran hai this actually of everything is written there so by just this smaran is also there but the overall uh, uh, conclusive point if we can take that uh, that uh, anurag is the predominating factor in uh, raganuga mark it in, in this not only you are actually remembering bhagwan but in a very special mood you are remembering there is no kind of opulent or aishwarya bhav in that and no kind of uh, attraction towards krishna in opulent mood but you are don't have any kind of question for asking any krishna anything from krishna and you are just giving the thinking that you just need to give everything to krishna you just take 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 everything from us like all the material people just speaking to devi ma this actually all material persons are speaking in front of devi ma but in ragana rag mark what they are speaking to krishna just dhanam lehi just take money just take position everything you take krishna from me this is in the raganuga mark everything you take even my cloth also my upper garment also you can take away you only just to satisfy you only i just need to do everything so parlad maharaj is also good his remembrance is also top most parlad maharaj memory remembrance also is top most we are actually all uh, uh, paying dandvat on to his lotus feet but what our actual mark of the raganu ka mark this is the actual important point that just there is no question of taking anything from krishna 
up till this point also krishna will die krishna actually is not uh, unwell is ill this kind of uh, question so much in deep priti is there that no kind of opulent mood or no place of ashwarya is there at all no place for ashwarya is there at all whether nand baba don't know about this point or whether yashoda maiya don't know about this point they they don't know that he is bhagwan when gargachara actually speaking to them that uh, your son is actually equivalent to narayan he is swayam narayan but still uh, he is actually uh, they are not at all understanding whether gopikas don't know about this kind of knowledge that uh, he is actually parmatma he is parat parakeleshwar they have this kind of conception definitely they have if it is not at all there then how gopikas actually speaking like this na kholu gopika nandano bhavan akhilo dehi naam antarat madri kaise bataye how the gopikas are speaking like this then kaise bataye how it is possible for them to discuss like that they definitely know maharaj that uh, all our commentators they are actually speaking that uh, this is actually he uh, this conception is there but is equivalent to not there that krishna is there in the form of parmatma in everyone's heart every he is there khalu means definitely he is there inside the heart of everyone as parmatma you are also you are not at all the nandan of gopikas you are you are in inside the heart of everyone as parmatma if this bhavana this bhav is coming then kind, that kind of magic of prema will definitely be left behind that kind of the magic of uh, prema is that that krishna is my um, love and uh, i we love krishna a lot but this kind of ashwarya bhav if it is coming then everything that prema will just go it will be just like putting water on the fire so that's why the commentators are speaking that inside the heart of gopikas this kind of uh, slight bhav is there this is swayam bhagwan this if it, it is equivalent to not at all there it means that by yog maya this kind of aishwarya so much avrit bhav is there in just to stay there and not to stay there it is equivalent to that not to stay and staying there it is uh, all the same if aishwarya bhav is there then then it is actually it's written there and then after that why it is uh, he they are speaking that when you are actually staying in this vrindavan when you are just uh, moving uh, barefoot on there that what kind of uh, small small uh, pieces of stone are actually just uh, going inside your uh, uh, feet that our heart is feeling so much pain when it is going inside your soft feet that if it is some opulent is there narayan must narayan can get some pain no not at all if some opulent bhav is there then this kind of bhav cannot uh, uh, manifest so this kind of bhav what gopika is actually manifesting that bhagwan that parat parakeleshwar this is it's there but it is not there it is all the same this kind of bhav and the bhav that gopikas are not at all remembering this point also the gopikas are not at all remembering okay it is just coming out of from their tongue but it is not at all re, they are not at all realizing this kind of bhav. they just want to feel krishna and love krishna that's it they he is just a very small boy and we just need to love him that's it no kind of opulent bhav is there ashwarya bhav is there in this ashwarya is definitely there that in vaikuntha dham a uh, lot of ashwarya is there in golok dham in vrindavan but still this actually he is avrit they are avrit that bhav is avrit it is not at all manifested that yog maya has just hidden that uh, by madhurya opulent bhav ashwarya bhav is automatically is hidden this is not at all manifested in front of us so that's why we cannot understand that in vrindavan lot of ras is there on all the four direction rasa is there but there because there is no opulence opulence is there but it is in hidden form by madhurya ras by madhurya it is avrit it is hidden that's why so much anand is coming there in vrindavan so smaran ang bhajan the smaran ang bhajan it can be there definitely well in vidhi mark also smaran is there and lot of things i have just told you previously as 
that in karma mishra bhakti also smaran is there in karma arpan also remembrance is there in each and every bhajan without remembrance nothing can be there but the actual important thing is that 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 the smaran of pralad maharaj it is actually with opulent bhav that he is bhagwan but the gopikas gopikas have this kind of name oh krishna will die oh kaliya nag will just kill krishna this kind of bhav they have so just need to save krishna it means that madhurya mai uh, prema is there for krishna gather all the brajavasis inside their heart you can see that uh, inside brajavasis that kind of sakharas is there some someone is of santaras someone is from vatsalyaras each and every category is there of different rasas and when some uh, when krishna when kaliya nag is, is just uh, going to take up in inside when kaliya nag has just uh, uh, grasped krishna in his with then all those uh, cow and calves they are just paining full they are become unconscious just by uh, fearing the life of krishna so shantaras they are actually exhibiting so much uh, uh, Dasya Bhav is also there, Sakya Ras is also there, Vatsalya Ras is there, Madhurya Ras is there. It can be there in Brajvasis. This differentiation of Rasa is there. And with the overall Swarup, just by, uh, it is actually we are speaking about Smaran. And there is actually speciality in ones in Shantaras, that in Shantaras, they, they have Shantaras in them. Like Venu, Flute. they just if you are just putting them in seva then you can, they can do seva otherwise they they have only uh, remembrance and attraction towards krishna that's it each and every fraction of second they have attraction for krishna in vaikunth what kind of dasya is available there in vaikunth what kind of dasya is available then in golok vrindavan also is there in uh, dasya is there there is lot of difference in uh, uh, the bhav what is there in vaikunth and in golok that's why rag is man- mentally when our material mind when our material mind is there when our material mind is going on up till that point then it, it is material like some hero he is actually uh, is speaking to one heroine that today you should that today you should uh, have to wear this kind of blue cloth that blue blue colored sari that why you are, how beautiful you are looking in this sari blue sari what do you mean by that yesterday i have seen yesterday i have also seen in the same sari and today also day after tomorrow also but why actually i am feeling special attraction this is actually the dharma of anurag anurag means that the only one object you can see how much how many times you will see that object particular object you will be finding new new things in that that is called the vishay of anurag like uh, in the morning time that kirtan is only one kirtan what we are getting in this kodiya mart there is only one kirtan of aarti but that kind of we are actually having the anurag darshan in that then different different kind of things we can just find out find it out in that kirtan like ban goswami maharaj at the time of kirtan what kind of different different bhav he is expressing and the of the bhava prabhupad their bhav is totally different kirtan that same kirtan is going on maybe today tomorrow every month they every time they are doing the same kirtan but different different kind of taste of anurag touch of anurag is there then different different kind of taste is coming that is the actual uh, lakshan of anurag it means that different different kind of taste you are getting by just tasting the anurag of that similar object same object so this kind of smaran this is okay and in the raganuga mark that smaranang is very much important and that is some speciality is there regarding smaran as well why because rag is the um, topmost mental dharm in our material mind that material that hero and heroine what kind of attraction they are feeling their anurag is different but in the transcendental world in the transcendental world when you will be entering in transcendental world and you will just get established and your material intellect and material mind will just get destroyed nothing will remain at all there priyatamo arthat nijo bhavachito lila vilaskari se vrindavan adishwar nandanandan sikishno arjanan charshavat 
just by speaking this that all those who are actually very close to krishna that is prajwasis for that for that particular bhajwasi you are seeing the seva of that particular bhajwasi and you are feeling greediness towards that kind of particular bhajwasi's bhava you just need to follow that that those who are the eternal parshad of bhagwan okay it is okay but those who are the eternal parshad which type of eternal parshad that specifically we are speaking on that point then that according to our own heart's desire what kind of bhav we are actually liking according to that brajwasi we need to do the anugatya of that and and if inside the, the heart of someone that nij samihitam that by this word shrimati radharani lalita vishakha manjari all roop manjari rati manjari then you are getting the then that is called the vishesh bhav a special bhav nij samihitam in this when you are getting some some special thing about that when you will be finding it special when our rup goswami path or whether rati manjari rup ganjari just by seeing the bhav of them we are finding lot of anand inside our heart then we can understand this point that nij samitan by speaking this word it means that madhuras inside madhuras who are actually established in that madhuras by that madhuras only that dwarika the gopikas of dwarika they are also there in dwarika those who are patrani they are also in madhuras but the the special thing is that parikya bhav that shri, if parikya bhav is not at all there in them that unnat ujjwal ras that bhav is not will not be available parikya bhav that is chandravali also have parikya bhav you can see they also have parikya bhav but uh, we will be following them only chandravali no not at all we are our mind is out of order we have to follow that unnat ujjwal ras what is there that it is there with shrimati radha rani that ujeshwari shrimati radha rani is it's available with her that is the brightest and topmost that so much prem and so much prem is there that shrimati radhika rani is expressing that we just need to do lalita vishakha roop manjari gun manjari all apart from that they, that kind of so much priti the krishna don't have with anyone else so much priti they have inside who has that much of priti who can give that much of uh, uh, priti to krishna someone has this kind of priti towards krishna that what radha rani has that's why shrimati radha rani the seva of radha rani that is the topmost of all the sevas and the deyamai under the guidance of the deyamai shrimati radha rani what we are doing that is the topmost apart from that nothing is more topmost that's why chila vishuna chakravarti pa speaking that very in depth uh, uh, point he speaking that unnat unnat ujwal bhav those who are that those who are actually feeling greediness towards that unnat ujwal ras topmost ras that that they are feeling greediness for that unnat ujwal ras bhagwan shri krishna all the eternal parshad those who are getting that kind of particular uh, attraction to and greediness towards that unnat ujwal ras that they will be getting the under the guidance of those shrimati radha rani and all the braj uh, gopikas they are actually just make me manifesting in that particular ras so definitely you just need to take the shelter of the anugatya of the particular devotee according to what kind of special rasa we are finding and we are attracted towards the particular rasa of the devotee then in braj in order to just stay in braj it means that maharaj that bhav is actually of braj you have braj bhav inside your heart that seva is of braj only parikar va vishishta everyone is of braj but that is the most practical point when you are actually there in braj if you cannot stay in braj then mentally if you can stay in braj then definitely you can stay there as mentally as well it is also possible if someone actually with mental bhav mentally he is actually staying in braj mandal 
that is not a normal thing if he is actually staying there that's very good and uh, uh, by that this uh, this the actual bhajan procedure the actual hidden uh, procedure of bhajan what vishnu chakravarti was speaking that kamanuga bhakti about kamanuga bhakti in this already it is told that that in sadak roop and that an antas chintit that with that bhava all the time just need to do seva of bhagwan all the time that vishnu chakravarti pad is actually just telling us regarding this that seva that shila roop ko swami pad that shila ko shila roop ko swami pad is just written in the samrit sindhu then everything is just uh, solved so in sadhan swarup externally gurudev or prabhupad externally we can see that they are speaking hari katha kirtan all the time and they are doing parikrama they are reading and uh, writing book everything they are doing but inside their heart that prabhupad and with nayan mani manjari bhav in that swarup is actually staying in golok vrindavan and just doing seva all the time she is doing manjari. seva because she is manjari no prabhupad so like this only in the same manner our bhakti no thakur bhakti no thakur also speaking the same point jivala sevai sirasa mandale nijukta karo ama jivala sevai that yugala seva sirasa mandale nijukta karo ama lalita sukhir ajoggo kinkori vinodo dhariche pai that you see what is this actual point lalita sakhir that he is actually giving his own uh, eternal uh, identification that i am the actual king kari of lalita devi that in gaur bhajan this is actually is a special point in one swarup they are actually just bhakti no thakur is there in gorang seva and in the other seva radha krishna it He is he he is there in Manjari Swarup. He is doing seva. She is doing seva there. That is the speciality in the Gaudiya Bhajan. So okay. Siddho Rupeno, Jadi agar koi question. Siddho Rupeno, if someone actually question questioning you, Siddho Rupeno, Sadak Rupeno, Siddho Rupeno means that it. What does it mean, Siddho Rupeno? What is the actual meaning? I have actually just discussed it from the four to seven days. I am just discussing this point. Siddha Rupena, that Nija Abhishta, Anchar Antas Chintita, that is the actual bhav of the Brajavasis. That is the Siddha. That what name we are getting. That is your actual Swarup. By that Swarup, you just need to remember that according to that, you just need to do seva, and under the guidance of which Brajavasi will be doing seva. Lipsuna means Lobhito. means that what is actually related to the Krishna, that what is the actual favorable bhav towards Krishna, those brajvasis they are serving Krishna with the particular bhav. That 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 my bhav actually is just uh, actually matched with the bhav of a particular brajvasi, whether it's Sri Mati Radha Rani. Or just by taking the shelter of Sri Mati Radha, ne that ujjwal bhav it actually gets manifested inside our heart, and we are actually feeling attraction and greediness towards that kind of particular bhav. And according to that, if our life we can get the actual siddha swarup, and we can get the indication of our siddha swarup, then according to that we have to do the vichar. How the seva should go on? How should we seva be like that? it means they are speaking that inside what is there that from the antas chintit bhav inside your heart mentally you have to just having that ujjwal unval ras inside your heart and externally you just need to do sadhan bhakti sankirtan naam sankirtan hari katha everything is going on in the sadhak externally that under the guidance of brajvasis you just need to do anusaran all the devotees they are actually just established in the siddha deha what kind of swarup they are getting they will be doing seva internally 
रूप गोस्वामी रति मंजरी रूप मंजरी वॉट काइंड ऑफ भाव वी आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग फीलिंग अट्रैक्शन अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट वी जस्ट नीड टू फॉलो दैम एंड शीला विष्णु चक्रवाल ऑल्सो इन द सेम मैनर एक्चुअली डिस्क्राइबिंग अस डिस्कसिंग इन दिस पॉइंट ऑन दिस पॉइंट एंड ही इज डिस्कसिंग दैट बाय दिस ओनली ऑल द साधक एक्सटर्नली दे जस्ट नीड टू फॉलो द साधना भक्ति एंड वी कैन फॉलो दैट इन विद मार्ग दे आर एक्चुअली फॉलोइंग दैट वैन इन द साधक स्वरूप प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली इज डूइंग देयर it looks like that he is a sadhak but inside his heart he is actually with this siddh swarup he is doing braj uh, seva under guidance of shri mati rushi la rupa swami pad so in this sadhak swarup that all those gammaman braj lok and those who are actually having a relationship with krishna in braj dham and they have just already established in the relationship with krishna so like this we just need to follow in vrindavan shri what is actually related to krishna brajalok bolne se that brajalok when we are speaking there is actually more uh, in depth uh, discussion should be there because sometimes it is like that that before what the, the persons have done bhajan and down by the kripa of bhagwan they have just uh, taken birth in vrindavan like dandakaranya rishis dandakaranya rishi munis they are feeling attraction towards shri ramchandra ji and they just want to embrace ramchandra with madhur bhav but at that time that is not at all possible at that time shri ramchandra ji maharaj actually speaking that in this situation and condition it is not at all possible to do this exchange this kind of bhava i am actually uh, one man woman and i am maryada purushottam so that's why bhagwan actually just uh, uh speaking and just giving them the benediction that when i will become bahujan vallabh when i will become bahujan vallabh in that swarup of krishna when i will be coming in vrindavan i will just be doing manifesting my leela there at that time that what kind of desire you have inside your heart definitely you will get uh, that done at that time so like this in the same way that in the sadak swarup anugamana just by speaking braj lok those who are actually staying in vrindavan and in relationship to krishna what is there that they are doing in relationship with krishna previously i have told that that the nitya relationship a permanent relationship of krishna with brajvasi is like definitely permanent and those people who are actually doing bhajan slowly steadily they have just uh, come to bhagwan that kind of uh, relationship is also there it means they their relationship is already need each and every jeevatma has a permanent relation with krishna but uh, what kind of special bhav he is actually taking birth in vrindavan and after taking birth in vrindavan what will happen that that according to some bhav or other he will be getting birth there and just by taking birth in vrindavan whether which girl which boy and from which which uh, uh, gram his village is and what kind of seva he is liking it automatically will be there so that's why in brahad bham in brahad vaman puran in brahad vaman puran it is written what actually is written there that dandakaranya vasi rishi muni and that all the shutigans also they have just manifested their own will that shutigan actually speaking that shutigan also they have this kind of desire that like gopikas we just need to serve gopi uh, krishna how we just need to take birth in vrindavan in in braj we just need to take birth and after taking birth in braj dham and just to take birth in braj dham i'll be just discussing it tomorrow lot of uh, opposite discussion is going on totally opposite some i will definitely gonna describe this that narottam das thakur that is written in kirtan lot of kirtan are there regarding uh, in bengali this kirtan maybe you can't understand this uh, kirtan hamara sadhi i will be just marrying myself i'll get married at javat gaon javat javat village so in this this uh, relationship uh, question of relationship is coming it doesn't mean that narottam das thakur will have to die <laughs> narottam das thakur have to leave his body has to just leave his body and after that he'll be getting uh, again 
he will be taking birth in vrindavan it's not like that this is not the actual meaning there is a very in depth a meaning in that it is just a misconception they don't know anything about that our shrinivas acharya our shamanand prabhu our what whatsoever godia topmost godia devotees are there it is this is all misconception what they are creating whether they have to just again take birth in braj after that no it's not like that oh my god this is not the conception there is actually in depth conception regarding this i'll be discussing it tomorrow today it is not at all possible to do this discussion and what is the actual thing in that according to that that there is lot of uh, uh, there is actually a lot of uh, um, a lot of problems are coming in our harikatha uh, from last some days so up till this point in brahat vaman actually i'll be discussing it now and i'll be just leaving it today up till here in brahat vaman puran also that is very much uh, famous that dandakarana rishi munigan they are in bhagavatam i have already at the time of bhagavatam i am actually discussing this point this i will be discussing that then only you can remember that all those shutigans they are that shutigan actually speaking that we have to do, also have to do the anugatya of gopikas and we have to do the seva of gopikas and that's why all these people they are actually living in vrindavan and under the guidance of brajwasis they are taking the birth in the house of brajwasis and they are serving bhagwan like that in ujwal ras so this actually very in depth vichar is there that nitya siddh those who are nitya siddh brajwasis they are already there they are actually all eternally present but those who are actually just get siddh now in the present life and they have just entered braj dham they what will happen that i will give you one example regarding this also that in that ganga water is flowing and in that some some other water you are taking uh, and putting in ganga water so de- separately it is uh, also ganga water and you are taking a normal water and putting in ganga water it is just mixed with ganga water so at which is eternally present that from infinity time that brajwasis that krishna is having this that kind of nitya term permanent relationship that nitya siddh brajwasis and those who are sadhan siddh brajwasis if they have just came in eternal jagat golok they, they can't go there and for infinity period uh, infinity period means here that from infin infinite means that from infinity if you deduct to infin- infinite you will get infinity and if you will just uh, add infinity with infinity you will get infinity so they are actually also infinite uh, those brajwasis that they will just get established in the nitya jagat so i will be discussing this point tomorrow today what is the actual vichar of there that all these people they are actually so much uh, having prema for me that's why my you just need to take this that so because of that all actually foolish people what i can do everything is going good but still what to do if just doing more than some contamination comes so like this we will be have already discussed this point and up till this point we just need to give rest up till this point muktir bhaktir jagyadi punnata shriyam sadana sahasrir hari bhakti sudur lava If Hari Bhakti Sudurlab rare is very rare, then the Brajwasis up till what point we will be going? That Brajwasis will be having that kind of bhakti.